Shall we do some uh, uh, yeah. Vittorio? Uh, I'm here uh, to help. I can never normally hear this. It's help. great. I'll solve your problems. I'll tell yeah. you the best thing to do. If you Ooh. want to do it, you'll be fine. It's going to be weird, this, because... I don't know if you're in a position to give advice. You I can't even that. lie about <laughs> secret I'm cleaners. Good advice. I'm good at advice. That's not the point of the section, though. Greg Hutton says, Wag Wag Lids, I really need your opinion on this. I was at a concert on Saturday where I got chatting to this girl and we hit it off. She started it. She, start she started it. She started it. <laughs> we hit it off. She started it. But turns out she had a boyfriend. As he came back from the toilet two minutes later, the weird thing is... The rest of the concert, she was dancing all up on me and grabbed my hand and put it on her ass and putting her hand up my shirt and things like that. <laughs> this all took place while her boyfriend was about 30 centimetres in front. Oh, oh, bitch. Before I felt so bad, I stopped it. She's now living in my head, rent free. I want to message her, but don't want to ruin her relationship or look like a creep. What should I do that's from Gregory Hutton, who probably didn't want his full name read out. But if you don't write anonymous, you get called Greg Hutton. Um, what should he do? Their relationship's already ruined. Whose? The the girls. That's not a good relationship. It's also not your problem, Greg. Yeah. Oh, she's fucking dirty. Just go and do some dirty. Yeah. She it had a great time the other night. Do you want me to fuck you in front of your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me? What if that's his thing? He wants. That's his the guy. Me, me, ha, mm. Good. Good afternoon to you, sir. <laughs> good afternoon to you, sir. I have on a the, suspicion. On the evening of the live performance, um, maybe that's the thing he wants to see. His, he wants to have his missus fingered and banged, yeah. but just thirty centimeters, thirty centimeters behind. Is that all that's why they've got there? they've got the sex ruler. <laughs> There you go. You're behind me. 30 cent. Is that 30 cent? <laughs> go for it. That old Patrice squelching. Bit. You want your partner to be desirable to other people. And you almost have to prove that to them every so often. Well, the, what Patrice says is like, I need to still be able to catch fish. As he, the metaphor is, he goes, so you can act right. Right. Okay. So you've got to, you've got to be fuckable to keep everything at home, sort yes. of. I think he, the bit is I don't want a girl who I can send out to the shop at three in the morning and be like, take the alleyway, it'll be quicker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Patrice. <laughs> Patrice and some of your social politics. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think both have died. Right, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laura got her arse felt at a kid's disco in Edinburgh once. And I've apologised. What? <laughs> what were you even doing there, Vittorio? <laughs> At the drums, Edinburgh bro. Festival, it really is frowned upon. It's nearly frowned upon as much as me parking outside nurseries in Hong Kong. <laughs> 25-year-old comedians turning up like, it's just another show. I've got to pass. <laughs> Um, so we were at a kid's disco. So at the Fringe, one yeah. of the great things, if you've got your kids up there with you, which we did in 2018, Etta was about a year and a half old. She fucking loved that Fringe. Laura, not quite as much. Um we went to a couple of kids' discos, like Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. The venues, the, the Spiegel tent did them. We went to a couple there. That was one of the, be the best moments ever. I taught Etta to go like this, to, to do the whole I'm watching you thing. So I taught my one and a half year old, cute as a button, <laughs> not talking very well, to go. <laughs> Just like pointing at her both, if you listen on audio, pointing at both her eyes and then pointing at someone and going, I'm watching you and mouthing, I'm watching you. And she did it to a dad who was just sat down at one of these kids' discos. But she did it. It was quite busy. She was sort of not stood in front of me. She was off to the side. I could see them and I could see, she was like doing a little dance. It's only a year and a half. She's just a toddler. And I saw her out of nowhere, clock him and then go, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> the look of total fear that washed over this guy. Cause he was, he went, what? And like, and then he, you could see here, like looking for the grown ups that were with this fucking accusational kid. Like, <laughs> Can you imagine if he just confessed to something? All right, I did it. I did it. Um, so we went to another one, and it was a, it was busy. It was a different venue, and Etta was toddling around, and Laura was just sort of like trying to get at her level, and was sort of bent over, and some pervy dad just gave her ass a squeeze. She came back and went, 
just like just a startled look on her face and went, I just had my ass squeezed by by someone. And, and, you, and you your see? natural instinct is to be like, what con did this? <laughs> and then I remembered that I can't fight. And <laughs> we didn't know who it was. And like, what are you going to do? Did you what like you, it on any gonna, level? What are you going to No, because <laughs> it's at a kid's disco. Like it was the, it was the least appropriate. My, my wife has got a phenomenal ass. It doesn't mean that people are allowed to squeeze it. And because Laura wasn't like, upset and kicking off because in reality she didn't know who it was mm -hmm. she turned around and then it, it, there's just loads of people and yeah like it, it, i'm so glad that i'm not one of these psychos that at, that at a kid's disco is like to turn off the turn off the music <laughs> turn off twinkle twinkle little star <laughs> some cunt in here squeeze their ass going all fucking begbie from train spotting but um I suppose if Laura put a sippy cup over you, yeah, 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 <laughs> literally fruit shoot over. Them. <laughs> what right. if it was just a wee boy? <laughs> what if it was just a bit of an ass man? Just a wee daughter, <laughs> just a four year old like, outside. No, <laughs> oh, I'm watching you. <laughs> Dan goes full. Fucking get off. <laughs> a little bit less. A little bit less. You grow up a little bit. <laughs> So if Laura had been upset, I suppose what you meant to do is just go to the organizer and be like, there is some pervy fucker squeezing women's asses. Or Not maybe the worst kind of pervert at a kid's disco. No. 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 You'd I mean, if you had the choice. Who squeezes random women's asses it's such anymore? It's a sad like, place to do it. Not, not that it's ever been all right, <laughs> but like, but I think old school, like, I think that level of essentially assault, not essentially assault, yeah, was like, hey, come on, hey. yeah. But which but is in your in your gypsy tradition, you've got that grabbing thing, right? Have you seen the grabbing in in, in yeah, mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in mine, pride tradition. Wow, in your I've done that impression a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's like, you know, your people. <laughs> Have you seen the grabbing in Big Fat Gypsy Wedding? I have. They just grab women and put them in a corner. And Big Fat Gypsy, yeah. They do, don't they? Yeah. They're like, yeah. And well, they're like, it's just grabbing. You're then, 15 and you're not fast at running, so now you're my girlfriend. But that, when the girls are like, yeah, you just go to get grabbed and it's grand for. Yeah, I know, but they are culturally f fucked over by, <laughs> yeah, okay, like, they're like, oh yeah, it's fine. Well, they, they put on a dress. Hey, with they more. said it's fine. They said it's fine. <laughs> a dress with more lights than the fucking. Christmas tree in Trafalgar Square. It's just fucking great, massive thing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's how he found love in a car park. <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty It was pretty brutal. Um, so but, uh, I mean, if, if that girl there, she wants to be touched up by random, she is either... I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm channeling my inner Adam Rowe here, but I think maybe... This thing. She's a bitch. It's on? Is that what you're doing? No, she's no. I think she, the boyfriend must know and want it. Oh, you think it's all planned? I think this is it. And yeah, because I what wasn't specified in the message was was he like looking while this it's was in happening? Front, isn't it? If it's it, in front, that implies that he's not looking. But he could just be loving the show. He's there fanboying towards the stage, and while he's going, oh, fucking love. He's like, he's oh my god, I'm so glad I went to see Top Loader again. Oh, Dancing god. in the moonlight. Apparently they play that like six times at their gigs. Of course they do. They go, we're going to do some new stuff. Only joking, we're doing Dancing in the Moonlight again. <laughs> they actually do that at the gigs. It's so fucking <laughs> how many times? How many times at one gig did even the fans of Top Loader go, well, that's enough Dancing in the Moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> even like the, the, the Bangra version, the ding -a ding -a ding -a ding -a Dancing in the Moonlight. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Huh? Yeah, Top Loader do a banger version of Dancing in the Moonlight. God, they must have got so bored of that fucking tune. Do you reckon they just swap instruments Shout sometimes? out <laughs> anyone. It's not even their tune, you know. To cover that. And they've made their whole career on a cover. Yeah, but wait till the banger right. version drops. Um, at a live show, I'm going to try and get Ishan to do a banger version <laughs> of Dancing in the Moonlight. I'm telling you right now, I'm yeah. going to try and make that work. Um, I'll be honest... Mate, if you want to get your dick wet, she sounds like this is an option. But I'm telling you, the red flags have been thrown already. This one's a fucking problem. Like, as a guy, you you get fork in the road moments where you're like, she seems like she wants to fuck. That's fine if you want to do that. But if you go down that road, potentially, you're going to fall for this girl who is clearly 
not going to be good for you. So if you just want to have a bit of fun and fuck around, her boyfriend is not your responsibility. Um, but I would make some better choices if I were you. Don't follow your dick down this weird road. How does he have the option to message her? As, as in they must, they must have, have exchanged, spoken. yeah. They must have yeah. exchanged Instagrams Names, or whatever. Maybe. Names, yeah. Something. So she, like the, the only reason you're exchanging that in that scenario is you want to be, I think drop her a message. Go listen. Enough of that. Bozo. <laughs> do you not feel like it's bad karma though a little bit to be like I know you can do it if you want, but No, I was I was raised by strong Irish women whose response to this is always that's not your fucking problem. Vittorio, you talk a good game. You can't even lie about getting secret cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're here going, just go and fuck her. Fuck her in front of him. No no, I would never cheat. <laughs> just just for the audio. <laughs> just for the audio for all dog walking I girlfriends. <laughs> I hope the dogs are behaving themselves. <laughs> and I would never cheat. Please, However please don't leave me with the fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. However, Greg should go and fuck old Nasty Girl from Listen, Top Loader. That relationship sunk or weird. And either way, mad girls are great. Ah, they are. Oh, they, are <laughs> they are pretty good. They are pretty good. Uh, just don't fucking marry them. <laughs>